Hello everybody, my name is Colin and welcome back to Gauntlet. Jeez, I have the worst timing when it comes to freaking episode stopping. That's the second time I've started back up with Mr. Death chasing my behind us. Anyways, back to the subject at hand. Where do you think an undead would live? I mean, to be honest, do they just get summoned randomly? And if they do, where are they beforehand? I mean, where are they before the- Holy crap, look at that conga line of freaking skeletons back there. But if they are just summoned, are they just dead bone piles before they're summoned? Or are they just waiting somewhere? Holy crap, that was a bad situation. Or what about freaking enemies that just sit around waiting for you? I mean, where are they before they freaking come after you? I mean, do they have like these off-screen waiting rooms or what? Poor skeletons have like no home. Unless this is their home and you're just an invading dirt bag. Which is highly possible. I mean, really, you only ever see skeletons in these kinds of dungeons, so maybe this is their home. I mean, these are probably catacombs and that's where un that's where dead people are is catacombs, so maybe they're only undead because because some sort of curse on the freaking catacombs. And so that would mean that not only are you trespassing on freaking sacred grounds where they're resting in peace until you freaking come up there and slash them all up, you're also killing them in their own home. Kind of a dirtbag move if you ask me. Yeah. All right, on to the next floor. Ooh, ham, hang on. Gotta get that ham. All right, now we're on to orcs. Hmm. You know, why do they have gold in catacombs? I mean, really, what's the purpose of having golden chests in catacombs? Really? What's the purpose of having any gold down in a catacomb? Freaking scumbags. Ow, okay, this is turning out bad. Whew. There we go. Just gotta wait for them to freaking do that and then repost. Parry and repost. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Skeletons, excusable. Freaking gold kind of possible i mean some people would you know the egyptians think about that they send gold down you know or freaking yeah royal tea down with treasures and stuff but freshly roasted chicken inexcusable why would there be in any situation Freshly roasted chicken. Why? I mean, that looks pretty fresh, and I am eating it after all, and replenishing my health. So, why the frick is there freshly roasted 
chicken in the depths of a catacomb cave. I mean, this is a cave underneath the catacombs. Why is there chicken all the way down here? And by the way, this is orc infested, so who the frick baked this chicken? It can't be the orcs, because guess what? They're ten floors... Sorry, my bad. Seven. They're seven floors down. So, unless they want to fight through the hordes of skeletons above them, or if the skeletons and orcs are all buddy-buddy, then yeah, they could go up above and find some chicken. But, uh, people would probably kill them. Or something of the sorts. So, obviously it's not the orcs. And, unless some human freshly came down here with provisions of freshly baked turkeys on a silver platter. Literally, look at that, a freaking silver platter. Where did that come from? And anyways, who in their right mind would bring turkeys on a silver platter down to some random cave? Turkey and ham and freaking wow, just why and how and really why? Really? Why? I think I'll hold on to this. Okay, and assuming that maybe it wasn't instantly baked, you know, maybe it was baked down here, that makes some more sense. They could just build a fire down here, but how would they survive down here if so many freaking enemies were down here? And also... Why would the enemies just place them on a silver platter to be eaten by any random wanderer who walked by? Why not just eat it? How does the food just sit there? Why doesn't... Why don't these guys just eat them? Eat the turkey! It's right freaking next to you! It looks delicious! Why don't you eat it? I don't know. I'm too busy fighting. Really, are you sure that's the reason? Because it looks like you're just not eating it. Do you only eat man flesh? Is that it? I mean, if so, that's understandable. Skeletons, sure, I can see them not eating it because guess what? They're skeletons, they don't need to eat. But freaking orcs? Unless they only eat man flesh, then what is wrong with them? Which, by the way, I don't see why because guess freaking what? Man flesh is meat, turkey, meat, it's still meat. I mean, I can see them not being vegetarians, you know. They don't eat vegetables, but, you know, carnivores, whatever. But freaking not eating any other random meat that just happens to be lying around freshly baked and absolutely delicious. What the heck is wrong with you, dude? There's freaking turkey. Two turkeys in this room right now. These guys could have eaten and prevented me from eating and gaining health back. So, if not for the sake of just eating it, why not for the sake of, I don't know, killing your enemy easier? Because guess what? That would work too. Freaking eat the turkey. Guess what? Your enemy can't heal because they only heal by eating turkey. Which also leads me into the Castlevania chicken. Why is there a chicken in the wall? I mean, maybe if it was raw, dead chicken, that makes sense. Maybe somehow the chicken got stuck in there or something. I don't know, magic. But cooked chicken in a wall doesn't exactly seem to be that logical. It's a great in-game food source, but it doesn't seem to be that logical. Really. Oh, there just so happens to be a chicken in the wall, or a chicken on the platter, frickin' ham sitting around. Why? I mean, a health potion would make more sense. Maybe some adventurer accidentally lost their, lost their health potion down here. You know, they died trying to freaking gain the treasures that are down here. Which, once again, why are there treasures down here? Really? Why? 
But if we excuse the reason of why are there treasures down here and go with the eh, then that still doesn't excuse why would there be food down here. I mean, health potions, like I said, would make more sense, but then you lead to the why is there huge piles of gold coins sitting around? Really, it's just gold sitting around in open chests and just lying around on the ground, in fact. Just look at this. Huge piles of gold just lying around on the ground. And, you know, maybe it's adventurers who thought there might be treasure down here and they had gold on them because guess what? They're freaking adventurers, so maybe it's from them. But still, that would mean a lot of adventurers who originally had treasure thought there might be treasure down here and then died. So, you know. Now, I believe in the original thing of Gauntlets, like some freaking evil guy is... I don't know, it's the usual story. Some evil guy is doing evil things, so you go into a cave to kill him. So, maybe it's adventurers who are trying to save the world came down here and died, so thus they lost their gold. But, that still doesn't excuse the chest part, because guess what? I doubt that adventurers are literally hauling around chests of freaking gold. Literally, chests. Not just, oh, a chest amount. No, literally a chest of gold. Why would you be carrying a chest of gold? And then, if they were carrying a chest of gold, per se, why is it open? It's not like the freaking orcs or skeletons or whatever just decided, hey, let's just leave it open. You know, chest full of gold. Let's open it up and just leave it sitting there in the middle of nowhere so that way the next adventurer grabs it. I mean, you'd think that the skeletons, I don't think they'd hoard it. They're freaking skeletons. Whoop, they do. But the orcs, they would probably hoard it somewhere. So why don't they have it huddled up somewhere in one huge heaping pile? Uh, shoot, I'll do this next floor and then I'll finish. I don't know how long this episode is, so sorry if this one's a bit longer than 15 minutes. Holy good gravy. No, thank you. Okay, need to get to the next one quick. Should have left a fire trail just then. Like that, and just ejected it like some sort of freaking car running away. Great, my iPod fell down freaking. That's my timer. Come on, iPod, cooperate with me here. And yet still, I haven't had a single player join me. Okay, come on, buddy. Shoot it again. I dare you. Hope you like your own medicine. Tastes great, doesn't it? Medicine does not taste great, okay? Even if you flavor it. Oh, no, no, that does not taste great, okay? In fact, sometimes that tastes even worse. Flavored medicine can taste worse. I mean, really. That stuff can taste like freaking crap. Come on. There we go. Why are there freaking orcs in here? Oi, no. There we go. There we go. What is up with you guys? Where did you even come from? 
Why are you guys just sitting around? Waiting for me to come over here. Freaking morons. Boink. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching. And yeah. See ya.